Hi there, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar. So, um, I just wanted to do one quick update. Um, it is the end of April 2017. I got this uh, Lithionics battery in. Um, it was actually sold before I even got it. So I was only able to keep it and test it for about a week. The reason why I went with this particular battery is because it had a maximum discharge rate. The BMS was rated at 200 amps. Um, and they, I was assured it would do 200 amps. It did 200 amps easy. Um, I saw it up to 250 amps and then uh, the disconnect disconnected it, uh, which is perfect. Um, I also had a lot of really good um, results from the BMS with the low voltage disconnect when I ran it hard and uh, you know the battery got low it turned it off when it you know had it turned it off when it got low which is what I wanted to see so um, all in all I'm very impressed with it it was a uh, it was a very expensive battery um, I retail this particular battery at twenty seven hundred dollars uh, but um, of course this will do what you can't do in a lead acid battery bank unless you you know, if, it, if you need a mobile in an RV or something like that, um, you just can't, you can't get 250 amp discharge rate in a battery bank that is, um, has a manageable weight. And uh, of course, with that many batteries, you've got a real complicated wiring system too. Right here, you can see exactly how easy it is uh, to wire this. It's, you gotta use big wires. The way I ended up with was four out wire on the negative, uh, two one out wires going through 150 amp fuses each and then combined, um, and then four out onto the inverter there. So um, that does the job. I saw uh, um, almost 3,000 watts out of those battery, this battery at times, and it's not a tiny battery, but man, it's not heavy and it's not big either. So, um, Super impressive. This is uh, the future of uh, batteries, and um, it's uh, only getting better from here. Thanks a lot. Miles, Light Harvest Solar.